Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And <laughs> if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, please make sure that you go ahead and join now. Uh, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old to uh, join. And what else? Oh. If you want to follow us on Instagram, you can follow us on Instagram. So today I have um, Prototype Kit and um, she is the sculpt by Jennifer Sussman Price of Silicone Studios. And her, uh, her blank kits are going to be available actually today. Uh, but I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but on the 15th of March. 2022 <laughs> but she has um it's the cuddle head and the hands and then you put it on whatever body you choose to put it on now i use the reggie ann body as i mentioned a thousand times before in, in in other videos but just in case someone new just happened to come across this one um when you order the body because a lot of people are like well how do i get it with the hands so when you order the body off of her Etsy website or Reggie Ann's Etsy website, you need to put in the comment section where the notes to the seller put um, whatever color it is, right, that you want. So for me, a dark open hands. She knows when you say open hands, that means that it's open hands so that, you know, for a cuddle baby with hands um, because she only had like one fourth hands. And so the rest of her is a cuddle um i did not root her completely for those that might be saying oh my gosh she rooted her so fast um i did just enough so that i could give people an idea of what she will look like when she's finished rooting i will continue to root her this way though um so i've picked out what style i want to try to accomplish with her but i don't know if you know if, if i'm be able to fully execute it but i'm a, i'm gonna definitely give it a try um to finish it so like i said she's very very cuddly i i order her a few clothes <laughs> look at her little hair i order i order her a few clothes so that um i can dress her more right now she's kind of just like barring a little of everybody clothes and stuff um so the pants that she has on are from H&M and they are the um I think it was zero to one month without the PM so just remember when you when you order from places like H&M zero to one month they have a zero to one month and then a zero to one month PM do not get the PM if it's a smaller size baby um, the zero to one month fits a lot of like preemie size babies and stuff. Um, but I think she can wear some small newborn and you can choose to put her on a bigger body if you want. I, I'm going to keep her on this body cause I like this size and I think she'll travel nice with me. Um, sorry, she got a little hair on her because yeah, but yeah, I think she, um, I'm going to keep her on this because I think I, I will take her with me a little lot more than I take other babies with me. Because I think it's it's just going to be just the perfect size. And I have like a little carry bag, um, baby bag that I can, a small one for a preemie that I can put her in. So I think it'll be really nice. I'm still fascinated with the sculpt details. Um, this hand, especially, sorry, my hands are so ashy. I wish I had some lotion in here now. Um, but this little hand I love, it's just, it's, it's so silly. I get caught up on the smallest things, right? This little flap of like, like, you know how you have that little skin in your, oh, my hand's so ashy. That little skin right there in your, your, your hand, when you ball your hand up, that little flap right there. She has that in her little a little uh hand and it's just so cute 
to me. I just love that. I think it's just so real. But yeah, I want to see, like, put her in other clothes where she doesn't look like she's so dressed. So um, today, I'm going to actually try to put her on, like, maybe a little, like, it's one here, actually. I wonder what size this is. Excuse me. Oh, I don't want to be in the camera. Yeah, this one might be more big. This is more of a zero to three months. Never mind. But yeah, I want to put her on like a little, like a little romper type outfit. And then she, I probably will put her on an undershirt. It's like this, this is the way her, her hands are. So I definitely will put her on a, on a, on a shirt, like a long sleeve shirt. But I won't always put her on long pants i think i am going to put her on like a short romper and some long socks and it might be just a little bit of the leg showing but i think i'm gonna be okay with that um so yeah i just i want to see how that looks with her but i just enjoy holding her like seriously i really really enjoy the way that she feels and um I don't know. I I'm I'm really happy and pleased with the way she turned out. I I love her uh her skin tone and stuff. I wasn't sure what what skin tone she would be. And especially like <laughs> uh like one of my sisters in the community comment she uh posted one day, she said, you know, sometime I don't even want a mat. <laughs> And it's true when you paint in silicone like you you get this color and you get to this color and you're like oh my god I love this I love this and it's like you know it's gonna possibly change and you don't know how much it's gonna change or how it's gonna change when you matte the silicone so it's like gosh I just don't even want to matte but they be so freaking shiny and stuff you can't enjoy them or dress them and stuff until you matte so you have to matte but it's like I felt that when she said that like you really don't want to matte um, but yeah, so I wasn't sure how the end result was going to be, but I, I am glad how she turned out and, it, and, um, she's got lint on her little mouth, but yeah, her, so her last photos that I took of her actually like captured her color perfectly. Like those pictures show how she how she looks in real. Let me look at her just a little bit more. I mean, there's a little bit more detail that doesn't show up in the photo, like um, her little, little, slightly um, little bumpies in her face. That part didn't show up as much on the pictures, but everything else, pretty much, like her skin tone. And the way that her finish looks and everything is pretty much spot on in those photos. So I was happy about that. And I finally got it. So I don't know. I think I was telling y'all I she had this little boo-boo that I did. And I actually, it actually just give her character. Sorry, guys. I'm like, I know. I'm just like playing with her. I went back and I put her on a neck ring. So, um, and I like, I like that. Look at her. <laughs> she's just so wobbly. Like, look, y'all feel like she just be falling. Like, girl, you about knee armatures. Look, she like, child, child. She about knee armatures in her arms. She's so jiggly. Mm -hmm. That is something to think about. You can't put armatures in there. Um, but... I like it. I like it just how it is. But yeah. So. <laughs> Look at this. So. Just just for those that. You know. Some people might have wanted. And I'm very close up. I think. If you wanted to see like. Her in my. In my lap. This is her. In my arms. Yeah. <laughs> 
there, there we go. <laughs> there we go, see? See, there I am. Let's see. I don't know. If you get in the shade, it's getting a little bit of shade, but yeah. But that's, that's her. That's my little peanut. Oh, name, name, name. So, I, first of all, I want to, can, whoever named, came up with the name Jacoby, can you guys comment and let me know it was you so I can, you know, remember who actually named him? Because I, I, I like that name and I went with it. Um. See her little baldness here? Because she's not rooted. <laughs> she had to wait her turn. But, um... Someone had mentioned, and I had this name. I used this name before. But I want to use it again. I think it's a good name for her. India. Because I think it really fits her, her skin tone and everything i think that's a good name for her and especially since i have you know my places going on now i know charlotte and memphis left i am gonna I, well i'm not gonna reuse memphis name even though his mommy did change his name he's no longer memphis um uh i don't think i'll use that name again but i am gonna use india so I like India and I have Aspen. So I have India, Aspen, Paris. Um who else? Mm, I think I've kinda that's it. Oh, Vegas. Um yeah, so I don't know. If I keep um, hands, hands is hands though. So I don't think I'll change that because I'm so used to saying hands. But yeah, so I don't have as many names. I've, my Charlotte and Memphis is gone, Phoenix. But anyway, she's gonna be at India. India, India, India. But yeah, I'm thinking like, cause I'm thinking if her little legs show a little bit, it will be okay. Let me take this off. Cause she gonna get dressed anyway today. These are actually pants. I have some socks. I'm gonna put these back, the, the shoes back on. Let's see. And like you could put on little tights with the rumpers. I'm just trying to think of like other clothing options where they don't look too... I don't, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to dress her for the spring to where she doesn't look like she's wintry. If that makes sense. Like I want to be able to dress her where she looks like she's still cool. But you know with babies, for me, they... They always still, even in the summer, I like my my real babies, like, covered up and stuff and not, like, overly, like, underdressed because their little body temperatures and stuff. And I, I feel like they be getting cold. But, yeah, so, like, she got on her. But I would put her on, like, some socks. Like long socks and I think she'll be fine and that's why I went with the darker body too so when I do put her on like um like her little rumpers and I put the long socks on or whatever and it just be like a little of the uh, of the cloth showing it won't it won't look so like stand out so much you my cheeky, you my cheeky cheeky. Because it's it's the dark brown. I don't know. I just think that I like the 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 different colored cloth body. Then there's the standard um, tan color, but I mean not that there's anything wrong with that color too. I like that color too on certain babies. So 
but for her that's what I chose I thought I would go because I knew she would be I was gonna go AA with her look at this you want to be relaxed <laughs> you want to be relaxed so look at, look at her little baby oh my gosh look guys she's so sweet Hey, that's sweet oh my gosh look don't show your little ball spot, baby. Yeah. Here we go. See my bubba. My bubba. My little steak bite. <laughs> I think she's so sweet. Okay. Well, that is it, guys. Um, Again, if you do want to order like a cuddle head or... Um, even full bodies will be on her site as well um, sometime. It's um, siliconestudio.com. Um, and like I said, this this is the prototype. I, she is unavailable. I am keeping her. But um, you can get your own and have your favorite painter paint for you artist or someone that you trust to paint for you or even paint for yourself definitely um the cuddle babies is definitely a way to start out painting as well um if you want to give it your first try i definitely suggest uh cuddle heads um and this one is going to be like 210 dollars and then if you want the hands, that's the extra $30, which isn't bad for extra hands. I thought for sure, you know, adding the extra hands would be like way more expensive. So that was, that was good. But anyway, she just feels so good. So real laying here. Like it's so crazy because who would ever thought that I would be like enjoying this type of baby? But I think it's because, for me, I think the hands really add a special touch. Because, like, I don't mind keeping, because I, you know, you typically keep socks and shoes on your babies and stuff like that anyway. So, but the hands, you know, we cover them up with hand mitts sometimes. But for me, I think that's what gets me, is that it, that it has these hands, and I feel like I'm not missing out on much. And then I got that full cuddle factor going on. Like they're so cuddle. For those that, that really hold their babies, I think cuddle babies are great. That's what I think. I didn't I guess I didn't feel like that at first because the first cuddle body that I had, I, I I bought one of those other cuddle bodies and it just was not cuddly at all. Um I think I had ordered it from Janie or whatever. And it, it just wasn't it. It just felt like a teddy bear or something. It was just, and I couldn't change the weight out or anything like that. So it was just a fixed weight and it just, it didn't have no flop or nothing. So, but these bodies, I like, they, they really, they really feel good. And they're not that, they have a soft material to them too. So it's also good if you want to get like a younger child in you, they're starting to collect. And you want to start them out with a cuddle baby that would be nice too you don't have to worry about the whole body it's just the face and so i think these are good for younger younger children too that's starting to collect their first you know high-end doll all right let me get her going because we're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna get find something else to put on today mm -hmm. All right, later guys, bye.